According to the COG boss, livestock farmers have received support to increase production and market their produce. The war rooms will focus on reporting on availability, accessibility and affordability of food in the country to inform Kenyans about the food situation in the counties and the nation at large. Counties have installed hotlines to assist traders and transporters on their daily operations and members of the public who experience any challenges in relation to food. Council of Governors Chair Weekly for Paranya said, and I quote, We urge our farmers and traders to continue with their operations while observing the guidelines put in place. In the event of challenges, they are advised to use hotline numbers that will be provided to the public, end of quote. There have been concerns that the country may experience a drop in maize production and other food crops mainly because of the effects of COVID-19. There have been delays in supply of seeds and fertilizers as farmers were forced to comply with all measures put in place to control the spread of the coronavirus. Kenya Farmers Association Director Kip Koril Menjo said, and I quote, Despite the challenges, most farmers have planted crops in their farms, but we still have a considerable huge number who are still planting with the ongoing heavy rains in the most parts of the country, end of quote. Last year, the country recorded a drop in maize production by more than 10 million bags from the previous year. More than 44 million bags were harvested in 2018, compared to 33 million bags last year. The government has announced plans to import about 4 million bags of maize in the next few months to mitigate anticipated shortages later in the year. The ongoing rains are posing a challenge in many parts of the country where farming is practiced. Many parts of the country in recent days have recorded more than average rains, with some parts of the country receiving more rainfall, according to the Meteorological Department. Reporting for Ebru TV, I'm Kaindo Stefano.